while. It's been a while. Uh, and I wanted to start getting these out a little bit more and more because it's flipping cold up in the north. Um, if any of you live in the, the northern United States, you know what I'm talking about. We got hit with a major snowstorm just this last week here, um, beginning of January. And, um, yeah, it's cold. I just checked the, the temperature right now is 5 degrees. Uh, Fahrenheit, that is. I don't know what that would be in Celsius. Um, because I am not smart enough to know the conversion. So that's just brilliant, isn't it? Um, now someday I'll learn it. Slippery ice can't run. Oh boy. <coughs> it's exciting. Um, so yeah, and then I noticed on the forums, I'm, I was behind a version. Uh, not in the forums, on the download page. I checked the kalasa.net, um, which I looked up in Google Translate means fishing. Thank you. I'm learning a little bit now and again. Um, and pilki means ice fishing, specifically. Um, but anyway, that there's version 9.5 out, 0.95. So they're getting close to a 1.0 release, which is wonderful. And, 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 I read in the changelog, I read in the changelog, that they may be introducing burbot fishing. For those of you that are in the Minnesota area or uh, Wisconsin area, burbot also means ling, also means uh, lawyers, uh, Oh, what's the other name for them? Eel pout. Eel pout is another name for them, too. So that's that's burbot. That's the same species, same fish. <clears throat> Big, slithery things. They're supposed to be really good, actually. Um, and I know up in Minnesota, they have the, the eel pout festival every year. I think I probably mentioned this all before. But anyway, so it means keep track for new versions. But what we're going to do today is uh, I got a couple of comments from people um, on some of the other videos where there was one guy, uh, I think his name is... I'll have to I'll have to post it in the description um, uh, a thank you to him who pointed out that the makers of this game know exactly what they're doing, um, which is frightening. Um, and he he seemed pretty uh, pretty uh, uh, a liable source because he uh, he knows he seemed to sound, know what he's talking about. They care about where you're fishing, the depth you're fishing at, the time of year, the time of day, the weather conditions the color, the way you're jigging, all that stuff matters. <clears throat> so, this is going to get a little complicated because this means I've been ice fishing like I normally do in real life, which is why I don't catch any fish. So, you're going to see me screw up a lot, that's okay. Because um, this hopefully then should teach me to be a better ice fisherman and should help you teach you to be a better ice fisherman too. Um, so yeah, so we're on a different lake. Um, what lake is this anyway? Uh, let me just take a look here. Uh, Lake Info. There we go. Uh, I'm going to massacre this, but I don't care. Raudapuro? Raudapuro. Raudapuro? Raudapuro? Raudapuro. I, like I said, my background's Icelandic, not Finnish. I, I can slaughter a Finnish name just as good as anybody else. Um, but anyway, okay, so for those of you, if you can't read it, relatively deep. Um, has a, a narrow stream in the northern area. Small falls. Um... Uh, crowded with bushes, so we could try those right away for some smaller fish. Uh, this is mostly Arctic char territory, so we'll see if we can get some of those. Some whitefish and greylings. Greylings. I'm wondering if whitefish here is the same as whitefish in the United States. Somebody tell me if I'm right or wrong with that. Um, I want to say it is, <coughs> and actually they're supposed to be really good. And I know lakes in Minnesota are full of whitefish, but nobody wants to catch them. They always want walleye or zander, depending on what you're talking about. Um, which is kind of crappy because whitefish are just as good. They're also supposed to be a lot more fun to catch. Or am I thinking of... No, I'm thinking of um, Tubali. Tub Tubali? Is that right? Massacre me in the comments. You you know what you're talking about. and You can look it up on Google. Right now I'm in the game, so I'm not going to alt-tab out. Um, grayling I'm not as familiar with. That's That should be fun. Also, they say occasional pikes. Well, we're not going to pretend that I'm going to catch any pike. Um, I'd like to hook into some trout, though. But... The goal of this today is, based on um, the comment from the viewer, we are going to pay attention to our jigging today. So we're going to jig, like like masterful jiggerman. What does that mean? I don't really know. Uh, let's check the map, see where we are. Okay, so we are in the middle of a still area. People seem to be drilling near the mouths of these things. Okay, and there's a deep spot. Just, I don't think you can see my mouse, but it's... Uh, on the west side here is a little bit deeper than the northeast side in this little inlet. 
So let's try that. In fact, I think that's right on top of where they were fishing. So I think it's right here. But I don't want to get that shallow. Although I am fishing in autumn. Although November to me seems like getting a little bit later winter. But is that the spot? Yeah, right around here is fine. Let's punch down. Oh, and I got the small auger. Crap. Well, we'll be fine. It's fine. Love this game. Oh, what did I do? No, 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 no. Oh, pfft. Oh, there he goes. Okay, good. I was going to say, that other hole is for my XLR. They don't have XLRs in this game. Um, yeah? Should we just try red right now? Why not? Okay. Slippery ice, can't run. That's pretty cool. Okay, do we have a hit right away? Not really. Okay. So, and then somebody else was saying they had played this game before but never knew that you could move the, the slip bobber on here. This, excuse me, not slip bobber, spring bobber. Similar idea. You just need to grab it and pull it. That's all you need to do. Um, and then you can just grab it and pull it back. Can you pull the red bob? No, you can't. You have to grab it on the neck. The gray neck, and you can pull it back in and out. Um, yeah, if, you, if you've never done that, <laughs> that saved my... That's caught me fish when I've been playing this game for a long time and shouldn't have been. Uh, let's see here. Let's just jig a little bit. Let's see if we get anybody. And you'll notice the further out you pull it, the more sensitive it is. It also means that when you're jigging, it'll react to the jigging. Um, which means you might not know if you're getting bites or not. Which is the same as you would be with your ice fishing. But And there's two different ways to jig. I'm grabbing the rod itself just along the straight part here. You can grab the reel um, and move that up and down. That's a different thing altogether. Um, I think you can also right click and you go up and down a bit. But then if you let go, then it goes back to the normal position. So you can actually just, you know, if you're actually raising it up like this, um, you can do that too. But um, I'm gonna ice fish like I normally do, which is just using the rod tip and just jiggling it like so, which is jigging. And this isn't catching me nothing. That sucks. Oh, I hear ya. Well, let's just see. Okay. Well, let me pause the video here and get to a point where I'm catching some fish. So I'm going to play around for a while and see if I can find a spot and figure this lake out a little bit. So we'll be back in just a moment. Hey guys, Dead Linux here. Just brought you back real quick. I'm switching baits up. I haven't caught anything yet. I got a, a little bit of a hit off of a bloodworm. But what I wanted to show you this. I didn't. They didn't talk about this in the update. What's this? It's a new lure. Or a new uh, shiny thing. Uh, spinner. Sp uh, splasher. Whatever you want to call it. So we're going to give it a shot. Look at that. Purple and stuff. <coughs> it's a dark day, so I'm wondering if it'll make a difference. And then we're going to go with the bloodworm again because I got a hit off of that. I just wanted to show that off. Looks like they've, they've added a few more. So this is wonderful stuff. I just want to click that again so you can see. Um, oh, and we've got a coppery one here. I wonder if these are unlocks? Someone correct me. Or they just haven't added them yet. Are these unlocks or not? I would be excited to know. Let's see if there's any new lures. <gasps> oh my goodness, there are. Maybe it's just this lake, but that's cool. That's cool. Oh, I'm just used to these guys. Any new big ones? Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, we got to play around with this stuff. Okay, I'm going to play around with these, and uh, I'll be uh, I'll be back again. Let's see, Let's see how effective these are. Or wait, you know what? Let's just drop down. Um, Well, I've got you with me here. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Got one. We got. Oh boy, he's a fighter. I'm real close to the surface too. Oh my goodness! There we go. There we go. That's a trout. Now we're in business here. See, I'm glad I brought you back. And it was with the magical little lure. Let's see if we can get another one like that. Um, let's see. Here we go. Seventy-six or seven hundred sixty grams. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see if we can do better than that. Okay. Here we go. In fact, if we keep catching fish like that, I may have to go up a rod. Just kind of hoping to hook up into some trout. Ooh! There's another one! Oh no, there we go. Arctic char. So, not a, not a bad sized fish. <clears throat> I'm not sure what that translates to in pounds. I gotta look that up. Because, again... Oh, wait on. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can do this here. 
Um, I'm going to try an alt tab quick. Uh, let's see, grams to pounds. You can't see this, you can hear me typing. Um, so, one gram equals that many pounds. How about we do 760? 760 grams equals, ooh, pound and a half, almost two pounds. Okay, so if we say 260, it's a half a pound. Okay.